Hi, I'm Dr. Mei Wan Wu, currently Distinguished Professor of National Taiwan University Hospital. The topic I'm going to share with you is an article that will appear in the Mayo Clinic Proceeding next month. The title of the study is Dosatem, a true beta blocker therapy for patients with Marfan syndrome, a randomized prospect pilot study. In this study, we investigated the effect of, of combination therapy of losartan and beta blocking for patients with Marfan syndrome. The result showed that the combination therapy for about three years provide more effective pro prevention of LT loop dilatation. This is also true even in the young patient. I'm Sing Wei Cho. Uh, an attention physician of pediatric cardiology. As we know, beta blockade is the original standard treatment for Marfan syndrome. However, it was found to have only limited effects in, in slowing down progressive arterial dilatation and the subsequent cardiovascular events. In recent decades, the most model of Marfan syndrome have demonstrated that losartan an angiotensin 2 receptor bracket was effective to prevent arterial root dilatation by blocking angiotensin 2 type 1 receptor and the subsequent TGF beta signal cascade. We therefore designed this prospective study to explore whether adding losartan to beta blocking therapy would help patients with Marfan syndrome. We found that adding losartan to beta blocking therapy for 35 months significantly reduced the annual, the annual RT, root, RT root growth rate compared with beta blocking alone. 0.1 versus 0.89 mm per year. The trends of changes in various RT segments, including RT annulus, sinus of Vasava, sinotubular junction were also optimized by the combination therapy. This data confirmed the efficacy and the tolerability of losartan therapy added on beta blocking in Marfan syndrome, which may have the potential to prevent uh, the major life-threatening manifestation of this disorder. Despite the small sample size, the present data demonstrated promising results. This finding may pave the way to a more refined pharmacological management of autopathy in patients with Marfan syndrome. Our next step of the studies on Marfan syndrome shall explore the genomic mechanisms responsible for the efficacy of losartan. Finally, we would like to address the clinical significance of this study here. First, we have demonstrated well that adding losartan to beta blocking therapy in patients with Marfan syndrome was effective to prevent the progression of LT loop dilatation. Second, such combination did not increase any adverse effect. Third, the potential benefit of losartan for patients with Marfan syndrome can be expected. Thank you. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.